Here we have a Pathfinder throttle body and we'll be modifying the stock 4th gen Maxima idle air control valve connector to plug into the Pathfinder idle air control valve. First thing we need to do is deshroud the connector. So next step is the pins inside the idle air control valve are a little bit wider than those on the stock connector. So next we bend the pins within the idle air control valve to fit the connector. When <clears throat> you're plugging it in, you want the yellow wire on the top left corner. So if this is how the throttle body is in the vehicle, yellow wire is facing the top. Oh, got it. So, once that is in, then usually I'll just wrap the outside with uh, some tape. And at least for this one, I could still trim it down a little bit. Because as you can see in here, there's still a little bit of a gap. So if you trim that flush, you'll be able to get better contact on these pins in here. So the better contact you have, the more secure it'll be and less likely it is to fall out. There we go. Oh, there we go. Now that's solid. Okay. So one thing, after you do get the connector in, you want to take a look at the pins, make sure that they're all even. Because before I had it, so only two of them were engaging. And you'll want to look and compare and make sure everything is in line. Because mine initially where two of them were inserting into the actual connector and two are going into that blank space. So, that's it, have fun. And lastly, if you have a set of calipers, my ideal distance for this particular connector is about five and a quarter millimeters between each pin. So that one's about five and a half, 5.8, and 5.73.